milestone for technology really ever since the creation of Star Trek. And today, the Google Assistant is the first real progress we've made in creating a truly conversational experience that essentially brings people their own personal Google. It uses speech recognition and language understanding to help you get things done in the real world, from managing your calendar to helping you control the lights in your living room. Now, it's still early days for this product. We're really excited how people are starting to engage with it. So why don't we take a look? Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Play some dance music. Sure. This is fresh air. My guest will be Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. Okay, Google, count to 100. Sure. One, two, three. Play back in harmonica on my TV. Seventy-one, seventy-eight, seventy-three. Play the Wonder Woman trailer. Hey Google, talk to Dominic. Talk to Lonely Planet. Talk to Cora. Show me my photos for last weekend. Ah! Your car is parked at twenty-two B. Today in the news. Turn the living room lights on. Okay, we're turning on the lights. I'll back, baby. Hey Google, drop the B. Flip a coin. Call Joe. Set a timer. Talk to Headspace. And then just for a moment. I'd like you to let go of any focus at all. Just let your mind do whatever it wants to do. Done. Hey Google, good night. Turn it off all the things. See you tomorrow. The Assistant is a great example of AI powering effortless conversational experiences with users. When I ask, hey Google, show me pictures of CC on my TV, the Assistant understands who I am based on my voice. It understands that CC is my daughter CC, not some other celebrity or famous person named CC. It can find the right pictures and they can cast them to the TV of the room that I'm standing in. Now, once again, seemingly simple, but previously that meant taking out my phone, unlocking it, maybe six or eight taps to get to that thing, and then bringing it up. But now it takes one simple sentence. And it's this simple, personal, ubiquitous engagement model that will quickly evolve how people interact with technology and change what users expect from their products every day. Now, another field that AI is transforming is vision. And this has been another long time moonshot for technology. What if devices could understand and engage with your surroundings based on what you see? Google Lens is an experience that we announced earlier this year that helps you interact with your physical environment, recognizing and taking actions on objects you encounter in the real world. In the future, you'll be able to use Lens to see whether a plant is a lily or a daisy. Find information about a restaurant while you're walking down the street. Or, and this is even my favorite, connect to a Wi-Fi network just by pointing the camera at the network name and password. We think that computing experiences like Lens and the Assistant will evolve the way people interact with technology. Conversational interfaces, vision-enabled technology, will make products more natural, easier to use, and inherently more valuable. This again means that consumer expectations will be higher than ever, which poses a great threat as well as a great challenge, as well as a great opportunity for brands. In the future, people will be able to access even more information and complete even more simple tasks at any moment. So with the further integration of technology into the physical world, it creates a new consumer paradigm that's even more simple and even more instant than the ones we're used to today. And the brands and partners that embrace this relationship in the most authentic way will, of course, be the ones to benefit the most. Now, a big part of the opportunity for marketers is how AI will help us fully realize personalization at scale. With platforms like Surge, YouTube, and Facebook reaching billions of people every day, digital platforms have finally had the scale for impactful mass communication. That scale combined with the deep and analytical power possible through AI means that we'll soon be able to build truly customized campaigns at the individual customer level, dynamically and in real time. It, if you really think about it, it'll be like having a million planners in your pocket. We're getting closer to a point where campaigns and customer experiences can be personalized end to end from creative to messaging to media targeting, truly taking into account all the signals we have at the customer level. Preferences like tone and color will be taken into account. Purchase history, real-time context, 
relevant messaging created, all optimized on the fly in real time. In the future, AI will help marketers connect all the dots to make the most individualized and impactful marketing work at scale. So today, we're starting, we're starting to see pieces of this start to come together. In marketing at Google, we have the same questions that many of you do. How can AI help us improve what I'm doing today in marketing? Our launch last year of the Pixel phone is a good example of how we're starting to embrace this. In 2016, the launch of our Pixel phone was a big moment for Google. It was our first foray into the premium hardware segment. And with the wealth of consumers, customer signals that we have, like location and device and time of day, it's becoming even more complex to reach the right person at the right time. A big part of our strategy for the launch was experimenting with machine learning to help us reach and engage our target audience. We used a new double-click tool called Custom Algorithm, which uses machine learning to show people the most relevant ad by analyzing millions of signal combinations in real time. And by making sense of all of that historical data, the tool increases the likelihood that your ads will be served to the most relevant, high-value audiences. And the results for Pixel were pretty impressive. When compared to other campaigns, impressions on premium inventory more than tripled, and viewable CPMs fell by over 34%. Now this is just one tool and one example of but you can see how machine learning is already having a big impact in the data-rich area of media targeting. Another example that excites me is from grocery delivery company Instacart. For those who don't know, Instacart can, do, can get people groceries delivered from their local stores in as little as two hours. They do this by deploying a network of shoppers on behalf of customers. But as many of you know, shopping in grocery stores is actually pretty inefficient. You, we all know how much time we can waste walking around a store searching for all the ingredients we need to make dinner. Or in my case, searching through a sea of sugary choices to find your kid's favorite cereal. These grocery stores can be large, complex, and confusing to navigate, but every day, Instacart shoppers have to find their items at thousands of store locations for multiple customers at a time, and the company is always looking for ways to help them move faster. So using TensorFlow, which is our open source machine learning platform, Instacart built a machine learning model to predict the most efficient sequence in, for their shoppers to follow to select items in a store. They used data from the previous shoppers of how they picked groceries to make recommendations, telling them, for instance, that they should pick veggies before they go to the coffee, and giving them the right path through a store, saving them minutes on every trip which makes it a more efficient Instacart and ultimately faster deliveries for customers. Now, of course, not all of our businesses focus on grocery delivery, but if you think about the implications of using machine learning to improve customer experiences across verticals, it's very exciting. 